Hey there, my name is Zach and I'm one of the employees here at SmartScale. All right, sales teams, are you guys ready to turn your prospecting into an exact science? In this video, we're going to show you how you can find high quality leads, figure out how the best way to prospect those leads, and then more importantly, actually qualify those leads. Let's get started on revolutionizing your sales process and start closing more deals. Alrighty, so now that we're inside the SmartScout app, there's a few things that we wanna look at here. Right now, if we come over here to the far left, we can see that I am clicked into the Sellers tab. We're gonna be looking through two quick approaches. The first one is we're gonna be trying to find Vendor Central brands within the SmartScout web app. The way that we do that is, of course, we wanna look at Vendor Central, right? So Amazon.com, these are going to be the 1P brands. I'm gonna click into Amazon as a seller, $14 billion, right? Quite a bit of money there. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click over here to brand coverage and we wanna see all of the brands that are sold through 1P. The first thing's first, right? We can see the revenue that each of these brands do through Vendor Central. The first thing that I like to do is let's just kind of filter out some of this brand revenue estimates, right? We wanna look for brands that are sizable, uh, maybe not, you know, we probably don't wanna be talking to DeWalt, Amazon Basics, Ring, right? Some of these are a little bit out of there for the time being. So let's set a maximum here of about $2 million a month. Still very sizable brands, right? And then we can also see here, like Rails, right? They've got, they sell 58 products through 1P. They do just under $2 million and about 90% of their business is done through 1P on Amazon. There are about 18,000 brands that sell less than $2 million through Vendor Central. Okay, so the next thing that we want to look at is this estimated brand share, right? We can see which brands are very predominantly Vendor Central. If you're looking for brands that are maybe moving away from 1P and more into like a 3P presence, that's where this month over month change is really interesting. All right, so we're gonna click into this pancake button and we're gonna set this maximum to a 0.1, a negative 0.1%. Now we can see that here are 7,200 different brands that are slowly moving away from 1P. Now that could be either, you know, new resellers are coming on, or it could also be that these are brands that might not be happy with their vendor central stores. And now we can click through here, and if we wanna do this type of prospecting, it's very easy to see what's happening at a glance. We can also adjust this estimated brand share, right, where we might wanna set a maximum here of 60%. So we're also trying to identify some of the brands that are really kinda of starting to move away, right? We can see here's Rainbird, right? It looks like they've moved away by about 0.5% of Vendor Central. That's the first way to kind of prospect some of these Vendor Central brands. So for example, right, Rainbird, we can see that about 57% of their brand's revenue is sold through 1P, but they're actually also, looks like they're moving away from Vendor Central. Okay, that's the first approach, right? We've identified, okay, here's a list of awesome Vendor Central brands that could potentially be moving away from that business model, right? There's some maybe turmoil that's happening, and thus there's an opportunity for new potential leads. Right, so if I were to take this list and start prospecting these guys on LinkedIn via email, that's the initial approach that I would take. Now we're gonna transition from looking at vendor central brands to looking for brands that have their own seller account, okay? These are brands that obviously care about Amazon and we wanna be able to come in and give them our services. We wanna be able to help them out, whether that's a full service agency, PPC, maybe you have a very custom purpose of trying to sell to Amazon brands. This is the route that we'd like to take. So we take this list of 1.9 million different Amazon sellers and we wanna get really niched down here. The first thing that I like to do is I like to change this country, right? Chances are you know exactly where you're trying to target. Um, in this case, I'm going to look for US sellers. Okay, so I'm gonna set the country to equals US or contains. If you don't care about where they're from, my assumption is that you do not want it to be equal to China. Right, so not equal CN. Chinese sellers are always a little bit hard to deal with. The next thing is we can see that we've actually removed about 900,000 different sellers that way. The next thing is really understanding the size of sellers that you wanna deal with. And that's where this estimated monthly revenue comes into play. Let's say we wanna find sellers that maybe do between a million to about $10 million a year in revenue. All right, so we set in the parameters between 80,000 minimum to $800,000 maximum. So. After we have this list of 20,000 different Amazon sellers, the next thing that I want to drill into is figuring out which ones are actually brands, right? So this number of brands selling, this is where I'm gonna set this maximum of six. Okay, chances are if they sell more than six brands, they're most likely an Amazon reseller. The next one is going to be this full brand coverage. I might set a minimum of one here. Now full brand coverage means that they sell 60% or more of an overall brand's revenue, right? Indicating that they probably are the brand or at least have some very close relationship with that brand. Now we can come through here and say, okay, great. There's 11,000 different sellers that fit within that criteria. Let's dig in a little bit farther. 
Okay, now let's look at some of these different sellers. Freebird Head Care. Let's check these guys out. All right, this seller does just under $800,000. They're based in New Jersey, and we can come over here to the brand coverage, and it looks like, yep, Free Freedom Grooming and then Freebird. These are most likely both of their brands. So the company Freebird Head Care or Global Distribution Network, they probably are a brand portfolio that owns both of these. Right, so if I were to prospect to free bird head care, we can easily identify which brands they are and from there. Now, when it comes to actually finding this contact information, right, which is a very important step of this process, typically what people do is they will export this list of Amazon sellers from SmartScout. They'll look at the state, the country, and then I'm gonna come over here and we can see that there's also city, street, and zip code. They export that and then they throw this list by using the address information in the business name, and they throw that into something like a Zoom Info, Apollo.io, Hunter.io, there's tons of different software out there that helps out with data and lead gen enrichment. And basically they'll throw that into those types of software. And I've heard that people typically find between a 35 to 45% match rate. So if you were to export this list of 11,000 different sellers, you can anticipate maybe 5,000 different leads that then you can start digging through. That's a very solid list, and quite honestly, those 5,000 leads are gonna keep you busy for a while. Now, if you wanna get even more specific, you can also filter by this category here, right? If you are throwing these leads into something like, you know, some kind of sequence from HubSpot or Salesforce, and you want them to be very niche down, right? We can look for brands or sellers that are in the beauty and personal care subcategory, and then kind of specify um, our outreach efforts from there. So in this video, we've been able to identify the best process to prospect both Vendor Central 1P brands as well as Seller Central brands. From here, we take this list, we throw it into, again, an awesome lead gen software, and now we have a killer list that we can start targeting. That's how you find the leads. Now, in terms of really understanding what your clients are going through, that's a different approach. So let's go through this, and let's check out Freedom Grooming from our earlier example of Freebird Head Care. These guys do $800,000 every single month as a brand. We can see if they have resellers, whether they're unauthorized or authorized. We can also see at a glance their historical revenue. All right, look at this. This is awesome. They are hugely peaked in the popular seasons, but it looks like their revenue from two years ago is way up, right? We can look at their ASINs over time as well, and it looks like their ASIN count has not really changed, right? But I can I find this as these are somebody that have been growing quite a bit, and they probably have funds to invest in some killer services out there. They sell in primarily just the US, and let's look at the subcategories they sell in as well. Men's rotary shavers, okay? They contain about 8% of that market, tons of room for growth. If I were to go try to pitch Freedom Grooming or Freebird Healthcare, right? These are the metrics that I would first look at to understand more about this brand. They care about Amazon US. They are growing like crazy. They have not expanded their product line, but there's still a lot of room to grow in both of their primary subcategories. So I hope you enjoyed the video. There's a lot of nuggets of advice and information from this. Go take this information and start crushing it in your sales game. There's a lot that you can prospect using Smart Scout, And if you can't find leads, book a call with me, book a call with any of my teammates, and we'll help you out.